Your classic car creation. You do it all. Nice. Back is clear already. in the sockets. I pre-fit the torsion bars. So we got a nice set of restoration 440 Hemi bars for the car. So they're clocked, they're indexed, and the left is the left and the right is the right. So after we get the K-frame unwrapped, we're going to fit the control arms through the K-frame. Make sure they fit because everything's aftermarket. We got PST aftermarket forged, and there are urethane bushings. Hey, what are you? All right. yeah, I can wrap them under here. Right, hold on one second. Let me get my hand up here. I gotta do yours first.
know, I said that one time on a day, girl. It's been a while for me. I don't really care the size of it. <laughs> it's all good. It's like being in my dog's house. Holy crap, look at that. Can you believe tomorrow's work again? Oh, you can get her to go on there. Oh. Oh. 
what the heck did you give me here? There it is. There. Alright. Okay. Over here at Classic Car Creations today, we spent a little bit of time working on the Challenger. We got it off the rotisserie and onto the lift. She's all tied down so that we don't have to worry about it tilting back or anything now that we have the rear end in it. We got that all locked down in the rear end. We did, got most of the steering in the front, the steering box in it. Lower control arms and all that are in it now. Got some of the bracing back in. Now what we're getting ready to do is and get the rest of the front end put in it and then we're going to make a roller out of it. Yeah. So Kevin gave us the uh, rundown of what we're doing with this. We're at a stopping point because we're missing some hardware to complete the upper control arms and putting the steering knuckles on and the rotors. So we're kind of stopped for a little bit and we're shutting down for the night and we threw the car back up on underneath. So we're good. Um, game plan tomorrow is to work on a hood. So I have a hood that's got to get processed, painted. Uh, Doyce's air cleaner is already done. I got to detail it out and we're going to do some inlay that matches the engine color on top of the air cleaner so it'll contrast really well with the truck itself. And uh, what else do we have on the plate? Oh, Niles' car is coming back. We're going to be reshooting that. Yeah, that change in the color on the fire. Yeah, and then we got a major car rotation. What you're going to see in the next coming video is Doyce's truck going over to the paint booth and we're going to start processing that out so that's where we're at yeah. well we got to get the brakes and all that stuff for this car for the front end they're all here it's just a matter of we're missing a couple bolts to put it all together that's it i thought and we had to i have the rotors now i thought because no, we're, we're missing the bolts caliper. the caliper adapters are here um the spindles are here we just don't have the hardware to put it all together oh okay we're just missing four bolts to put the rest of this together and actually I might have an extra set of caster camber bolts, but we'll use his. So that's what stops this one for a little bit. Anyway, Kevin here has been amazing with us, working through all of this, um, and you've seen a lot of processing footage and whatnot, and also us getting this car all the way to purple. All right, everybody, thanks so much for subscribing, checking us out. We'll see you soon in the next video. Take care, everyone.